Have you ever been traveled all around the world? Or, do you wish to make a world tour? Are you eager to know about our Earth's heritage, and to explore some of the greatest wonders of the world? Don't worry. I am here. You might have heard about 7 wonders of the world. But, in this video, I am gonna take a step further. That is, you are gonna explore about 28 wonders of the world in just few minutes. Get ready to board on. This is. What is. Wonders of the world. Number 1. The Treasury at Petera, Jordan. The Treasury is one of the most elaborate temples in Petera, a city of the Nabataean Kingdom, inhabited by the Arabs in ancient times. As with most of the other buildings in this ancient town, including the monastery, this structure was carved out of a sandstone rock face. Many of the building's architectural details have eroded away during the 2000 years, since it was carved, and sculpted from the cliff. The sculptures are thought to be those of various mythological figures, associated with the afterlife. On top are figures of four eagles that would carry away the souls. The figures on the upper level are dancing Amazons with double axes. The entrance is flanked by statues of the twins Castor and Pollux who lived partly on Olympus and partly in the underworld. But I can assure you, this rose-red city is bound to leave you having to pick your jaw off the floor in amazement. Number 2. Great Pyramid of Giza, Egypt. The Great Pyramid of Giza, also known as the Pyramid of Khufu or, the Pyramid of Cheops, is the oldest and largest of the three pyramids in the Giza Pyramid Complex, bordering present-day Giza in Greater Cairo, Egypt. It is estimated that the pyramid weighs approximately 6 million tons, and consists of 2.3 million blocks of limestone and granite, some weighing as much as 80 tons. Originally, the Great Pyramid was covered by limestone casing stones that formed a smooth outer surface, what is seen today is the underlying core structure. One of the more established wonder of the world, a trip to Egypt is truly incomplete without a trip to see the pyramids of Giza, the Great One being the oldest and largest one in the middle. The pyramids are apparently not only the older of the ancient seven wonders of the world, but the only one that is still intact. Number 3. Stonehenge, UK. Stonehenge is a prehistoric monument in Wiltshire, England, 2 miles, 3 kilometers, west of Amesbury. It consists of a ring of standing stones, each around 13 feet, 4.0 meters, high, 7 feet, 2.1 meters, wide, and weighing around 25 tons. The stones are set within earthworks in the middle of the most dense complex of Neolithic and Bronze Age monuments in England, including several hundred tumuli, burial mounds, Archaeologists believe it was constructed from 3000 BC to 2000 BC. The surrounding circular earth bank and ditch, which constitute the earliest phase of the monument, had been dated to about 3100 BC. Radiocarbon dating suggests that the first blue stones were raised between 2400 and 2200 BC, although they may have been at the site as early as 3000 BC. A prehistoric monument set in the English countryside, Historians are still not 100% sure how the stones got there and much of Stonehenge is still shrouded in mystery. Number 4. Colosseum of Rome, Italy. The world's largest amphitheater and a truly Italian and Roman landmark. Built of travertine limestone, duff, volcanic rock, and brick-faced concrete, it was the largest amphitheater ever built at the time, and held 50,000 to 80,000 spectators. The Colosseum is situated just east of the Roman Forum. Construction began under the Emperor Vespasian in AD 72 and was completed in AD 80 under his successor and heir, Titus. Further modifications were made during the reign of Domitian. These three emperors are known as the Flavian dynasty, and the amphitheater was named in Latin for its association with their family name. Number 5. Catacombs of Kam el Shok Waifa, Egypt. An Egyptian wonder that's a lot younger than the pyramids but still quite as impressive. The Catacombs of Kam el Shok Waifa is a historical archaeological site located in Alexandria, Egypt, and is considered one of the Seven Wonders of the Middle Ages. A circular staircase, which was often used to transport deceased bodies down the middle of it, leads down into the tombs that were tunneled into the bedrock during the age of the Antonine Emperors, 2nd century AD. The facility was then used as a burial chamber from the 2nd century to the 4th century before being rediscovered in 1900 when a donkey accidentally fell into the access shaft. Number 6. Great Wall of China. The Great Wall of China is the collective name of a series of fortification systems generally built across the historical northern borders of China to protect, 
and consolidate territories of Chinese states and empires against various nomadic groups of the steppe, and their polities. Several walls were being built from as early as the 7th century BC by ancient Chinese states, selective stretches were later joined together by Chen Shi Huang, the first emperor of China. Little of the Qin Wall remains. Later on, many successive dynasties have built and maintained multiple stretches of border walls. The most well-known sections of the wall were built by the Ming Dynasty, 1368 to 1644. The world's largest wall perhaps? It is 21,196 kilometers long. A rather impressive symbol of Chinese defense and architecture. Number 7. Hagia Sophia, Turkey. Hagia Sophia is the former Greek Orthodox Christian Patriarchal Cathedral, later an Ottoman Imperial Mosque, and now a museum in Istanbul, Turkey. It is famous for its large dome. Built in AD 537, during the reign of Justinian, it was the world's largest building and an engineering marvel of its time. It is considered the epitome of Byzantine architecture, and is said to have changed the history of architecture. It's not very usual to find buildings that house different religions, and yet that's what the Hagia Sophia is. Originally a Greek Orthodox church it was later converted to a mosque though it now neither and a museum instead. Number 8. Leaning Tower at Pisa, Italy. The Leaning Tower of Pisa is the Campanile, or freestanding bell tower, of the Cathedral of the Italian city of Pisa, known worldwide for its nearly 4 degree lean, the result of an unstable foundation. The tower is situated behind the Pisa Cathedral and is the third oldest structure in the city's cathedral square, after the cathedral and the Pisa Baptistry. The height of the tower is 55.86 meters, 183.27 feet, from the ground on the low side, and 56.67 meters, 185.93 feet, on the high side. The width of the walls at the base is 2.44 meters, 8 feet 0.06 in. Its weight is estimated at 14,500 metric tons 16,000 short tons. The tower has 296 or 294 steps. The tower began to lean during construction in the 12th century, due to soft ground which could not properly support the structure's weight, and it worsened through the completion of construction in the 14th century. By 1990, the tilt had reached 5.5 degrees. Number 9. Chichen Itza, Mexico. Chichen Itza was a large pre-Columbian city built by the Maya people of the Terminal Classic period. The archaeological site is located in Tina Municipality, Yucatan State, Mexico. Chichen Itza was a major focal point in the northern Maya lowlands from the Late Classic through the Terminal Classic and into the early portion of the Post-Classic period. The site exhibits a multitude of architectural styles, reminiscent of styles seen in central Mexico and of the Puyuc, and Shen styles of the northern Maya lowlands. The presence of Central Mexican styles was once thought to have been representative of direct migration or even conquest from Central Mexico, but most contemporary interpretations view the presence of these non-Maya styles more as the result of cultural diffusion. A must-do when you visit Mexico, it almost doesn't seem to matter what part of Mexico you travel to, this Mayan temple is worth making the diversion for. Number 10. Christ the Redeemer, Brazil. Christ the Redeemer is an Art Deco statue of Jesus Christ in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, created by French sculptor Paul Landowski and built by Brazilian engineer Ator da Silva Costa, in collaboration with French engineer Albert Caco. Romanian sculptor Giorgi Leonida fashioned the face. Constructed between 1922 and 1931, the statue is 30 meters, 98 feet, high, excluding its 8 meter, 26 feet, pedestal. The arms stretch 28 meters, 92 feet wide. The statue weighs 635 metric tons, 625 long, 700 short tons, and is located at the peak of the 700 meter, 2300 feet, Corcovado Mountain in the Chajuca Forest National Park overlooking the city of Rio de Janeiro. A symbol of Christianity across the world, the statue has also become a cultural icon of both Rio number 11. Machu Picchu, Peru. Machu Picchu is a 15th century Inca citadel, located in the eastern cordillera of southern Peru, on a 2,430 meter, 7,970 feet, mountain ridge. It is located in the Cusco region, Urubamba province, Machu Picchu district, above the Sacred Valley, which is 80 kilometers, 50 miles, northwest of Cusco. The Urubamba River flows past it, cutting through the cordillera and creating a canyon with a tropical mountain climate. 
these mysterious ruins are bound to leave you out of breath, not only because they are 2430 meters above sea level, hence the lack of oxygen, but the sight of this Inca village is absolutely amazing. Number 12. Taj Mahal, India. The Taj Mahal, crown of the palace, is an ivory-white marble mausoleum on the southern bank of the river Yamuna in the Indian city of Agra. It was commissioned in 1632 by the Mughal Emperor Shah Jahan, reigned from 1628 to 1658, to house the tomb of his favorite wife, Mumtaz Mahal, it also houses the tomb of Shah Jahan himself. The tomb is the centerpiece of a 17-hectare, 42-acre, complex, which includes a mosque and a guest house, and is set in formal gardens bounded on three sides by a crenellated wall. The Taj Mahal is the symbol of India that the entire world identifies with. Its beauty is truly iconic not just in India but outside of India. It's almost 400 years old and still manages to wow every much as it did in its first year. Number 13. Bonnerway Rice Terraces, Philippines. The Bonnerway Rice Terraces are terraces that were carved into the mountains of Bonnerway, Ifugao, in the Philippines, by the ancestors of the indigenous people. The terraces are occasionally called the eighth wonder of the world. It is commonly thought that the terraces were built with minimal equipment, largely by hand. The terraces are located approximately 1,500 meters, 4,900 feet, above sea level. These are fed by an ancient irrigation system from the rainforests above the terraces. It is said that if the steps were put end to end, it would encircle half of the globe. Number 14. Angkor Wat, Cambodia. Angkor Wat is a temple complex in Cambodia and is the largest religious monument in the world, on a site measuring 162.6 hectares, 1,626,000 square meters, 402 acres. Originally constructed as a Hindu temple dedicated to the god Vishnu for the Khmer Empire, it was gradually transformed into a Buddhist temple towards the end of the 12th century. It was built by the Khmer king Sri Avarman II in the early 12th century in Yasodharapura, the capital of the Khmer Empire, as his state temple and eventual mausoleum. Breaking from the Shaiva tradition of previous kings, Angkor Wat was instead dedicated to Vishnu. As the best preserved temple at the site, it is the only one to have remained a significant religious center since its foundation. The temple is at the top of the high classical style of Khmer architecture. It has become a symbol of Cambodia, appearing on its national flag, and it is the country's prime attraction for visitors. Number 15. The Moai Statues of Easter Island, Chile. Moai are monolithic human figures carved by the Rapa Nui people on Easter Island in eastern Polynesia between the years 1250 and 1500. Nearly half are still at Ranoraraku, the main Moai quarry, but hundreds were transported from there and set on stone platforms called Ahu around the island's perimeter. Almost all Moai have overly large heads three-eighths the size of the whole statue. The Moai are chiefly the living faces of deified ancestors. The statue still gazed inland across their clan lands when Europeans first visited the island in 1722, but all of them had fallen by the latter part of the 19th century. These human carving by the Polynesian people of Chile are as old as 700 years. They're also up to 10 meters tall and an impressive combination to see altogether. Number 16. The Terracotta Army, China. The Terracotta Army is a collection of terracotta sculptures depicting the armies of Qin Shi Huang, the first emperor of China. It is a form of funerary art buried with the emperor in 210 to 209 BCE with the purpose of protecting the emperor in his afterlife. The figures, dating from approximately the late 3rd century BCE, were discovered in 1974 by local farmers in Lintong County, outside Shen, Shanxi, China. The figures vary in height according to their roles, with the tallest being the generals. The figures include warriors, chariots and horses. Estimates from 2007 were that the three pits containing the Terracotta Army held more than 8,000 soldiers, 130 chariots with 520 horses, and 150 cavalry horses, the majority of which remained buried in the pits near Qin Shi Huang's mausoleum. Other Terracotta non-military figures were found in other pits, including officials, acrobats, strongmen, and musicians. Number 17. Grand Canyon, USA. The Grand Canyon is a steep-sided canyon carved by the Colorado River in Arizona, United States. The Grand Canyon is 277 miles, 446 kilometers, long, up to 18 miles, 29 kilometers, wide and attains a depth of over a mile, 6,093 feet or 1,857 meters. 
the canyon and adjacent rim are contained within Grand Canyon National Park, the Kaibab National Forest, Grand Canyon Parishant National Monument, the Wallapai Indian Reservation, the Havasupai Indian Reservation and the Navajo Nation. President Theodore Roosevelt was a major proponent of preservation of the Grand Canyon area and visited it on numerous occasions to hunt and enjoy the scenery. Number 18. Great Barrier Reef, Australia. The Great Barrier Reef is the world's largest coral reef system composed of over 2,900 individual reefs and 900 islands stretching for over 2,300 kilometers, 1,400 miles, over an area of approximately 344,400 square kilometers, 133,000 square miles. The reef is located in the Coral Sea, off the coast of Queensland, Australia. The Great Barrier Reef can be seen from outer space and is the world's biggest single structure made by living organisms. This reef structure is composed of and built by billions of tiny organisms, known as coral polyps. It supports a wide diversity of life and was selected as a World Heritage Site in 1981. CNN labeled it one of the seven natural wonders of the world. The Queensland National Trust named it a state icon of Queensland. More beautiful fish than you can shake a stick at. The Great Barrier Reef is one of those places that everyone in world raves about once they've seen and rightly so. Number 19. Mount Everest, Nepal Mount Everest is the highest mountain above sea level, located in the Mahalingar Himal sub-range of the Himalayas. The China-Nepal border runs across its summit point. The current official elevation of 8,848 meters 29,029 feet, recognized by China and Nepal, was established by a 1955 Indian survey and subsequently confirmed by a Chinese survey in 1975. In 1865, Everest was given its official English name by the Royal Geographical Society, as recommended by Andrew Waugh, the British Surveyor General of India, who chose the name of his predecessor in the post, Sir George Everest, despite Everest's objections. The definition of high mountains, endurance and human struggle, a view from the summit of Mount Everest is worth boasting about but a view of the mountain from far away is pretty darn impressive too. Number 20. Victoria Falls border of Zambia and Zimbabwe. Victoria Falls is a waterfall on the Zambezi River in southern Africa, which provides habitat for several unique species of plants and animals. It is located on the border between Zambia and Zimbabwe and is considered to be one of the world's largest waterfall due to its width of 1,708 meters 5,604 feet. These waterfalls are perhaps the most impressive waterfalls to see in Africa and is truly deserving of its spots as one of the UNESCO World Heritage Sites. Number 21. Aurora Borealis An aurora sometimes referred to as Polar Lights, Northern Lights Aurora Borealis, or Southern Lights Aurora Australis, is a natural light display in the Earth's sky, predominantly seen in the high-latitude regions, around the Arctic and Antarctic. Auroras are the result of disturbances in the magnetosphere caused by solar wind. These disturbances are sometimes strong enough to alter the trajectories of charged particles in both solar wind and magnetospheric plasma. These particles, mainly electrons and protons, precipitate into the upper atmosphere. The Number 22. Citadel La Ferriere, Haiti. The Citadel La Ferriere or, Citadel Henri Christophe, or simply the Citadel, is a large mountaintop fortress in Nord, Haiti, located on top of the mountain Bonnet de Levesque, approximately 27 kilometers, 17 miles, south of the city of Capaysan. 15 kilometers, 9.3 miles, southwest of the Three Bays protected area. Number 23. Iguazu Falls, border of Brazil and Argentina. These are waterfalls of the Iguazu River on the border of the Argentine province of Misiones and the Brazilian state of Paraná. Together, they make up the largest waterfall in the world. 2. The falls divide the river into the upper and lower Iguazu. The Iguazu River rises near the heart of the city of Curitiba. For most of its course, the river flows through Brazil, however, most of the falls are on the Argentine side. Below its confluence with the San Antonio River, the Iguazu River forms the border between Argentina and Brazil. Number 24. Puerto Princesa Underground River, Philippines. Puerto Princesa Subterranean River National Park encompasses one of the world's most impressive cave systems, featuring spectacular limestone karst landscapes, pristine natural beauty, and intact old-growth forests and distinctive wildlife. It is located in the southwestern part of the Philippine archipelago on the midwestern coast of Palawan, approximately 76 kilometers northwest of Puerto Princesa and 360 kilometers southwest of Manila. The property, 
comprising an area of approximately 22,202 hectares, contains an 8.2 kilometers long underground river. Number 25. Table Mountain. Table Mountain is a flat-topped mountain forming a prominent landmark overlooking the city of Cape Town in South Africa. It is a significant tourist attraction, with many visitors using the cableway or hiking to the top. The mountain forms part of the Table Mountain National Park, and part of the lands formerly ranged by Khoi-speaking clans. It is home to a large fauna and flora. A mountaintop that's as flat as a table? Of course this would be amazing to see. All that's missing is the giant family eating their dinner off the mountain. Number 26. Halong Bay, Vietnam. Halong Bay is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and popular travel destination in Quang Ninh Province, Vietnam. The name Halong means descending dragon. Halong Bay is a center of a larger zone which includes Bay to Long Bay to the northeast, and Cat Ba Island to the southwest. These larger zones share a similar geological, geographical, geomorphological, climate, and cultural characters. Halong Bay has an area of around 1,553 square kilometers, including 1,960 to 2,000 islets. Number 27. Deep Sea Vents. A hydrothermal vent is a fissure on the seafloor from which geothermally heated water issues. Hydrothermal vents are commonly found near volcanically active places, areas where tectonic plates are moving apart at spreading centers, ocean basins, and hot spots. Hydrothermal vents exist because the Earth is both geologically active and has large amounts of water on its surface and within its crust. Uh, number 28. Galapagos Islands. The Galapagos Islands, part of the Republic of Ecuador, are an archipelago of volcanic islands distributed on either side of the equator in the Pacific Ocean surrounding the center of the Western Hemisphere. Located 906 kilometers, 563 miles, west of continental Ecuador. The islands are known for their large number of endemic species and were studied by Charles Darwin during the second voyage of HMS Beagle. So, yeah. You have made it to the end. I hope you found this video really interesting. Please like and share this video. Also subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon for more such content. This was. What is. Wonders of the world. Goodbye and let's meet again in another wonderful video.